Um, hi, my name is Trinity Johnson, and I'm a junior from Westside High School, and this is my poem, Crooked Eyes, Fat Bodies, and Broken Hearts. It's September 28th at 6.32 p.m., and I'm sitting and scrolling through my mom's Facebook. It's homecoming, and I'm happy. A girl wore dresses, are a foreign language, content with her friends and feeling just fine, but it wasn't always this way. Growing up, I compensated my sadness by eating, playing sports, then feeding myself. In the third grade, I was last running the pacer test and second for teens, and I never saw a problem. By the sixth grade, my weight was a target. And the kill yourself comments, arrows shot by fake friends who loved and hated me. I remember one day in gym class, I was picked last and was the only girl on the all boys team. Condolences to your self esteem. Let your future be in agony. Learn that you don't sit without sucking in your stomach. Learn that a fat person's place is in baggy clothes in the back of the class it's homecoming night i walk around and ask everyone if they noticed shrug shoulders a declaration of my foolishness of course they did big eye big lazy eyed girl big crooked face lazy eyed girls don't cry girl how am i not supposed to cry i see myself as an abomination cyclops got nothing on me my face a non-symmetrical oval, my eye crooked due to its laziness, due for a surgery, the only way to make me happy. I watch my 600 pound life like the gospel, praising the knives, digging into the skin of the sinful, praying for a sense of security. I cried at homecoming. I cried using the eye that made me want to die, made me hate myself more. I walked out of that dance, tripping over my words, my confidence stuttering. I can never talk about my body without joking, choking on other false narratives now. When I originally wrote this poem, I wrote it with a happy ending, as if self-acceptancy is gained through stanzas and rhythm. The easiest jokes to make are about my body. Fat people are the funniest. It's the same thing as saying they're laughing with you instead of at you. My existence, a comedy show for the wicked. And yet they tell me to love myself. How dare when my body is perceived as a killer, as if obesity defines me a word I don't even fit in. I'm so sick and tired of compensated for just being me because fat bodies are just bodies and crooked eyes still see. And I'm here living proof that you have a chance. I'm here breathing, loving, laughing in this body, in this body I am here, choking on my own narratives because this is my body and my body alone.